Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. So I'm getting ready to uh, hopefully fill my bowl with some stuff from the back porch garden. Got tomatoes and some green beans and some onions that look like they're ready to pick. So let's, sorry, got distracted by a squirrel. So let's see how things are going. So here are my onions. And those down there still lack quite a bit. But these down here have started to turn soft right here. Fallen over and started to, and have turned soft. So we're going to pick those right now. There we go. I think that is a wonderful onion for my first go around. Let's see how those look. So there they are. I think they look wonderful. And like I said, I picked them when this had fallen over and was getting soft. And of course, these are my very first onions ever. So we'll have to see. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna dehydrate, dice. Uh, I may slice and dehydrate them. I'm gonna make some onion flakes or onion powder. I haven't decided. And then these guys, when they're done, I'm gonna do the same thing. So our tomatoes are doing good. It's the end of the day and I haven't, uh, I didn't get out this morning in water, but they're looking good. So let's get some of those picked. Not too bad. That's just my first picking. And of course there's several that'll be ready in a few days. And then this guy down here, I've got to redo. He had a, uh, a worm getting to his stuff. I found the worms and plucked them off and squished them. And so that will, that will help that one get a little healthier. And then now we have, and I may not pick any of these beans, but we have some green beans coming on. You can see there's three or four bunch in the back. Um, so we've got not a huge amount of green beans, but when you add those in with these guys over here, by the strawberries which have already stopped. So you can see I've got beans there and lots of beans coming on in there. So so in a couple days we will have green beans as well. And now I didn't plant enough to, to get a, you know any canning done. We're gonna eat these as they come off the plants. Um, but it's wonderful to, to grow our own. And the more we get practice, this is our first year with these bush style. Last year and the year before we've all, or always, we've done uh, like pole beans and had, you know, and planted 25, 30 feet in two or three rows to get enough to plant. And I may try that in the fall or for my fall garden, which I will be tilling and doing any day now. But that's it, that's the, the vegetable update from here. I'll do another short one tomorrow from work as those are doing well, very well actually. And I'll show you those tomorrow. You can do it. You notice everything that I'm showing you, I'm not showing you in the, the in the ground crops, I'm showing you the container crops because you can do it too. You can plant things and you can grow it. Just take some practice uh, and, and be willing to learn. Like my onions, I know I need bigger containers. I've already figured out. The same thing that I learned with my green beans from last year. They needed bigger containers. But, so I hope you enjoy it. Happy gardening. Let's get ready.